hello, hello. Hello. How are you? I can't see. <laughs> Here are my glasses. Oh, I can see now. How are you guys? I decided to see if I can keep on reading a little bit more. So let's see if where I can keep on reading. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start chapter four on Junie B. Jones and some sneaky, peaky spy. She wants to spy on her teacher. She wants to find out where she lives. That's where she, we left off. She has to make some cookies. So chapter four is called Cookie Mix and Other Stuff. The next day was Saturday. Saturday is the day me, I know, and my mother go to the grocery store. I have rules at that place. Like no hollering the words, I want ice cream. No calling mother the name of Big Minnie when she won't buy it. And no eating a bag of marshmallow that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> or else... The store guy yanks it away from you. He says, eating is the same thing as stealing, young lady. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> then her mom has to pay for it. Then he takes you to your mother. <laughs> and she has to pay for the whole entire bag. Except for, I don't know why. Because I only ate three of those softy guys. And that's all. The cards at the grocery store have seats in them. That's where babies sit. Only not me, because big girls get to walk all by their themselves. <laughs> and guess what else? One time, mother even let me push the whole big car without any help. <gasps> what, Janini? No, that doesn't say that. I'm just me saying it. Except for then some baked beanies got knocked off their shelf and a grandma got her foot cut in my tire. And so now I have to wait till I'm bigger. My favorite aisle is where the cookies are. That's because sometimes there's a lady at a table there. She gives me and mother cookie samples. Oh, I want to go there. This is sweat. No, it's not boogers. It's sweat. I'm sweating. <laughs> I've always sweated since I was a little kid. It was my nose and my mustache. Always. So sorry. <sighs> she ran away. I went away. You had to pay for them. Their name is Freebies, I think. Only too bad for me, because this time the lady wasn't there. Darn it, I said, very disappointed. No freebie, lady. Mother smiled. That's okay. When we get home, we're going to bake our own cookies for grandparents' day, remember? Won't that be fun, she asked. I made my shoulders go up and down, because I was still mad at her for not taking me to my teacher's house, of course. What kind of cookie mix do you want? Asked mother. I did a frown at her. I don't even want to bake cookies anymore, I said. Because you still won't take me to where, where Miss lives. Mother rumpled my hair. Rumpled. Rumpled my hair. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I imagine it's like this. Like, I don't know. You probably know. Staying mad isn't going to change things, Junie B, she said. Now, do you want to pick out the cookie mix or shall I? The mother picked out some cookie mix and she gave it to me. And I threw it in the cart very hard. Thank you, said mother. You're not welcome, I said. <laughs> oh, she's so mad. After that, mother took me outside of the store. Uh-oh. And me and her had a little talk. A little talk is when mother is mad at me. And she says, Who do you think I am, Missy? <laughs> and exactly how long do you think she's going to put up with me? And then I have to go apologize. Apology. 
Say apology to her. Oh, my Lord. This is hard to read. <sighs> she got to say apology. Look at they write that. Okay. Hard. <laughs> uh, apology is the words I'm sorry. Except for you don't actually have to mean it. Yes, you do. You have to mean it. Why is this thing going down? Oops, sorry. <laughs> My hand. This thing, I think I need a new tripod. You think so? <laughs> oh, maybe Junie B is hiding under my desk and <laughs> pranking me. Except, because nobody can tell the difference. Yes, they can, Junie B. After the little talk, we went back in the store. Shall we try again, asked Mother. Then she gave me another box of cookie mix, and I put it in the cart very nice. That's better, she said. Thank you. You're not welcome, <laughs> I said inside my head. Then I smiled to just myself. Because <laughs> Mother can't even hear me in there. After that, me and her went around the corner, and I saw my most favorite thing in the whole world. <gasps> that... And its name is the Water Fountain. I thought it was ice cream. Hey, I need a drink, I said very excited. Then I ran right over there, and I hopped up on the little step. Need some help, called Mother. No, I said, because I'm almost six years old, that's why. So I already know how to work this big guy. And here's another thing I know, I said. No putting your mouth on the water spout. Or else germs will get inside you and you will die. <laughs> She's so dramatic. I smile very proud. Polly Allen Puffer told me that, I explained. Then I bended my head over the fountain and I drank for a very long time. Hurry up, Junie B, said Mother. I need to get the shopping done. I wiped my mouth off with my arm. <laughs> oh, yeah, only I can't hurry up or else I might get a stomach cake and spit up water. Because a boy named William did that on the playground yesterday. Mother looked at her watch. Okay, well, I'm going to be right here in the cereal aisle. As soon as you finish drinking, come directly back to me. Okie dokie, I said very happy. Then I turned around and drank and drank and drank. <laughs> Except for then, I started feeling a bit sickish. And so I had to sit down on the little step and rest my water. That's when the big front doors of the grocery store opened. And guess what? My eyes almost popped out of my head. That's what. Because I saw a big shock. <gasps> it was Miss! My real life teacher named Miss was at the grocery store. <gasps> Chapter 5. Sickish. Miss didn't see me. That's because I hid it behind the water fountain. Speedy fast! Guess what? She had a man with her. <gasps> I never even saw that guy before. Hey, who the heck is that? I said to just myself. Then I run my fastest to the cereal aisle to tell mother what I saw. Only all of a sudden I remember about what she told me. No more spying. So maybe I might get in trouble with her, I think. That's how come I stopped running. And I started to go back to pick a miss some more. But mother already spotted me. Hey, where are you going? She called at me. Come here. Yeah, only I can't come there, I explained, because I just remember something very important, and it's called, I'm not done drinking yet, oh my gosh. Then I ran back to the water fountain. Only Miss and that strange man were already disappear. Shoot, I said, where did those sneaky beats go to? After that, I had to look all over the store for those guys. First, I look where the chocolate milk was. Then I look where the pasquetti. 
Oh, I get it. Spaghetti. <laughs> she called her pasquetti. And tomato sauce was. And I also look where the delicious candy was. Only guess where I finally found them. Ah, the stinky dumb vegetables. Okay. Do I have ghosts in this house? This picture next to me that I've been painting just moved forward towards me. Okay. I'm going to keep on reading and ignore what happened just, just now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe I have a mystery of my own. I quick ducked down and hid around the corner. Then I did some sneaky, picky spying on them. I saw me speaking out yucky, blucky, broccoli, and stewy, pewy tomatoes. And also the kind of vegetable named zucchini. <laughs> she said, <laughs> spelled it like it was a name. Except for the strange man snatched zucchini right out of her hands. And he tried to put it back on the shelf. Only means grab it right back again. Look, I gotta show you this. Look how they spell zucchini. Look, zucchini. <laughs> she pretended to hit him on the head with it. And then they both started laughing very much. That's when a very terrible thing happened, and it's called Miss and the Strange Man did a big smoochy kiss. It was in front of the whole entire everybody. And it was, uh, okay, I covered my eyes. That's what I was ashamed of her, of course. On account of teacher shouldn't do that smoochy thing. After that, I picked my eyes between my fingers. And I saw Miss standing at the grapes. She picked up a bunch of the green kind. Then she pulled some grapes right off the top of it. And that's when the most terrible thing of all happened. Because just then, Miss put the grapes in her mouth and she ate them. Miss ate the grapes. She didn't even pay for them. Oh no, I whisper very upset. Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Let's see if I... I hope you can see this. Look at her hiding. Oh, look at the miss. She's eating the grapes. Oh my goodness. Because eating is the same thing as stealing, remember? Teachers aren't supposed to do stealing. Teachers are supposed to be perfect, perfecter than that. Because they have to set a good example <laughs> for little children. After that, I felt very sickish inside of my stomach. On account of Miss didn't even get caught and learn her lesson. Because nobody saw what she did. Not the store guy, not the strange man. Nobody, nobody except for me. <gasps> Squeezy lips, chapter six. I didn't tattletale to Miss, on Miss. That's because if I told Mother, I would get in trouble for spying. And if I told the store guy, Miss might go to jail. And so I kept the, two, the secret inside my head. Because nobody can see secrets inside your head. Not even if they look in your ears. On Sunday, Grandma and Grandpa Miller came to our house for dinner. Only I couldn't talk to them that much. Let me put this drawing back. Okay. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Now everything is falling. Okay. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> okay. That's because secrets are very slippery. And I didn't want to slip out of my mouth by accident. 
Why so quiet tonight, Junie B? said Grandma Miller at the table. Cat got your tongue. <laughs> My mouth went wide open. What cat, Grandma? Is it the same cat that got killed by the ice cream truck? <laughs> How come he wants to get my tongue? Did his tongue get squished in an accident? Grandma Miller made a face. Then she didn't eat her roast beef anymore. Mother looked surprised at me. You sure they get chatty all of a sudden? Does this mean you're not mad about the cookies anymore? And so then I remembered to stop talking again. Or else my secret might slip out. I squeezed my lips together very tight. Ooh, and guess what else? Even the next day when I was on the bus to school, my lips still stay squeezed. Hi, Junie B, said my bestest friend, Grace. I did a wave at her. That Grace frowned at me. How come you're not saying hi? You have to... Oh, my goodness. I can't pass the page. Why can't I pass the page? <laughs> Okay. And, uh, or else my secret might slip out. Okay. <clears throat> I lost it. Oh. That Grace frowned at me. How come you're not saying hi? You have to say hi. It's the rules. Except for I still didn't say hi. And then she called me the name of Big Stinky. And when we got to school, that Grace told Lucio I was being a meanie. And so those two play horses all by themselves. And not me. That's how come I finally had to sing something very loud at them. I got a secret. Ha, 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 I sang. That Grace put her hand on her, on her hips. So she said, we don't care, do we, Lucille? Except for just Lucille. <laughs> Run over to me, speedy quick. Because she cares, that's why. If you tell me your secret, I'll be your best friend, she said. Yeah, only I can't, Lucille, I explained. Because if I tell you my secret, Miss might get in big trouble. So I have to keep it to my it said, inside my head. <gasps> Lucille did a frown at me. <laughs> It's not good to keep secrets inside your head, Junie B, she said. My brother says keeping secrets inside your head makes pressure in there. And pretty soon your head blows up. Oh my gosh. My eyes got very big at her. Oh no, I hollered real upset. Then I hold my head real tight with my hands. I run my very fastest to the nurse's office. Because she has band-aids to hold your head together, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Wait. There. There you go. Okay, she's holding her head like it's going to explode. My head's going to explode because <laughs> of the pain. All right. My head's going to blow. My head's going to blow. I yell at the nurse. She jumped up from her desk and hurried over to me. What's wrong, Junie B? Do you have a bad headache? She asked. No, I have a bad secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Miss. Only I can't tell anybody. And now there's pressure in my head. I need a band-aid or else I'm going to explode. The nurse said, calm down to me. Then she put a band-aid on my head. And me and her went to principal's office. Oh my gosh. Principal is the boss of the school. Me and him know each other very good. <laughs> That's because I keep on getting sent down there. So I am not even afraid of that guy. Principal sat me in a big wood chair. Good afternoon, Junie B, he said. What's the trouble today? Good afternoon, I said back. My head's gonna blow. Principal frowned his eyes at me. Why do you think that, he asked. I did a bit of squirming. 
Because I got a secret in there, that's why I said. Principal sat down on his big desk. He folded his hands. Maybe if you tell me your secret, I can help you, he said. Yeah, only I can't talk, I told him. Principal looked disappointed at me. Uh, but I thought you and I were pals, he said. We are, I said. I'm not even afraid of you. <laughs> Principal did a chuckle. Good. <laughs> That's good, he said. Then why don't you tell me what's bothering you? That's when I did a huffy breath at him. Because that guy wasn't listening to me, of course. Yeah. Only I already said I can't talk. Remember that? Because if I talk, then I might accidentally tell you my teacher stole grapes at the grocery store. And then she show she might have to go to jail. And so that's how come I just, I just have to keep it a secret inside my head. And that's all. She just told. Oh my gosh. I smoothed my shirt. The end, I said. Then I squeeze my lips together very tight, or else my secret might slip out. Only guess what? I think it already did. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right here. Oh my gosh, because my eyes are getting cross eyed. Anywho, we'll do another video some other day so I can publish this for you guys. This only, uh, well, seven, eight, nine, three chapters left. All right. I will see you on the next video. Be good for goodness sake. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Uh, uh, this thing won't work now. Oh, there's somebody at the door. I'm going to see about my ghost in my room here. I hope nothing else moved.